ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to Western Racing. And in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at Series 2 of the 2023 Hot Wheels Mystery Model. Great, now I got to figure out what order these go in because I, they have numbers on them, but I forgot what the numbers were. Anyway, guys, how's it? How, how's you? Oh, <laughs> I'm having a freaking stroke. Holy crap. How are you all doing? Uh, welcome back to the channel. Today on Weston Racing, you're going to get to witness a uh, guy like myself have a colossal stroke in the middle of a YouTube video. But uh, after we get done with that, we're going to look at some Hot Wheels cars. Deal? Great. So, uh, this is the Hot Wheels Mystery Model Series 2. Now, if you don't know what the Hot Wheels Mystery Models are, they come in a bag like this with a little picture. So, literally, you can see every single car that is in this set right now on the on screen, except for the Mystery Ultra Rare. And with this little window, you can see one of the cars that's inside. When you open this, you get a car and a sticker. You know, because who doesn't love stickers? You have to be insane to not love stickers. So, that'll be fun to get to look at all that. Anyway, there's 10 cars in today's video and these all have numbers on them and what order you're supposed to do them. You know, number one being the ultra rare, number 10 being the most most common car, I'm pretty sure. Anyway, I thought that was dumb. So what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna look at these in reverse number order, starting at number 10, working our way up to number one. And what I'm doing currently is I'm sorting them all by number order so that way I can figure that out easier as we go. And I'm almost done with that, so bear with me here. I do have the whole set. I did try to make a video like this once before. I think it was on whatever the Area 51 series of the Mystery Model cars were. I did try to make a video on those once and I ended up canceling the video because I didn't have the full set because I, there's there's 10. I only had uh, seven of them. So that's why that video never made it up on the channel. But uh, yeah, that was a long time ago. I think that was almost a year ago that I was gonna upload that year or two ago, I do believe. That feels like a bone shaker. Okay, I've got them in order. We're good to go. Let's start. So, yeah, that's what we're doing today. Where are my scissors? There they are. I have these freaking kid scissors over here, and I don't know why. There's my actual scissors, just in case if I need them. I shouldn't need them, though. But uh, today, we're going to be looking at the 10. Instead of yammering, well, let's just get to car number one, which is right here. Uh... If I'm not mistaken, these are all these are all supposed to be like uh, Aztec jungle themed. So this is gonna be, they all follow a theme. So anyway, let's get to car number one here. I'm very excited to open these up. So, oh, car number ten rather, which is Arachnorod. So or Speed Spider. So like I said, you do get a sticker, and is all of this a sticker? So you get the Hot Wheels sticker here, you get the name, Speed Spider, and then you get all of this here. I'm pretty sure just this part. Yeah, just the Hot Wheels logo is the actual, actual sticker. So yeah, you get, <coughs> excuse me, you get an actual Hot Wheels sticker, which is meant to look like, meant to resemble the car that you got. So anyway, yeah, that's cool. I'm going to stack those over here. So that's really cool. We'll throw that off to the side. Anyway, here it is, our first car, Speed Spider. So this is really cool. We've got this white body with a black chassis, white tires with black rims, no window inserts. The only paint we really see on this are these green and black details on the legs and everything. But the main detail of this car that we want to talk about here is the fact that this car does indeed glow in the dark. And it glows pretty freaking well. So if we charge it up with the black light flashlight, if my camera would focus, that'd be fantastic. Charge it up with the black light flashlight, hit the lights, and then boom. Oh shoot, I got my I got my freaking RGB lights on in my room. As you can see, this thing does light up extremely well under black light, which is pretty cool. So yeah, that's our first car. Pretty simple, but all around a really neat car. That is the Speed Spider. Car number nine. Gotta remember, we're going in reverse order here, so I can't get the numbers screwed up. Car number nine. 
car number nine. There is the sticker, and we've got Roadster. So that's cool. Actually, I think the actual name of the car is Roadster, as you can see here by the name. So there's the sticker we get with it. Pretty cool. And here is the car. I really do like this casting. We've got a dark blue body, a green chassis, black tires with yellow rims, and a blue window insert. The side panel has a Hot Wheels logo in yellow on it. And as you can see, we got some scale pinstriping details. So we got pinstriping, and then within the pinstriping, we've got like alligator scales, which looks really cool. And that's the same on this side as well, as you can see. And on the top, you can also get that pinstriping detail. The rest of the car really doesn't have much on it, but that's okay, it's an all right car. I forgot to show the bottom of Speed Spider, so I'm gonna get that in here too. There's the Speed Spider bottom, and there is the Roadster bottom. So there you go, that is our second car for the video. Car number nine, Roadster. I really do like that Roadster, that was cool. Anyway, here is car number eight. Get the sticker out first. And it is Praying Menace. So this is a car that is themed after the insect known as the Praying Mantis, but it is known as the Praying Menace. These stickers are absolutely destroyed, but that's okay. So here is the car, the Praying Menace. We've got a uh, jade green body, a silver chassis, black tires with silver rims, and we've got this really cool clear window insert here. The car's entire paint detail is up here on the top. As you can see, you got all of this really cool, almost like razor blade style pinstriping here, which looks really cool. Nothing painted on the eyes of the car, that's okay. So you got that really cool pinstriping, goes up on all of the fenders and everything. And then if you look on the back, we got a Hot Wheels logo in blue. So that's really cool. And then here is the bottom of the car with all the info on it. You can't really read that very well, but I bet if you tried, you could probably squeak out some letters there. Anyway, there is the third car for today's video, the Praying Next up is La Fasta. Okay, so this is a car that I actually have a lot of in my collection. So you're just another one to add here. There's the sticker for it. This one gives me Spider-Man vibes, not gonna lie. The paint job does for La Fasta here. We've got a red body, a blue chassis, black tires with blue rims, and a blue window insert. So looking at the car here, as you can see, like I said, it gives me Spider-Man vibes. I think these are meant to be snakes, maybe. Maybe they're meant to be vines of some kind. I don't know. It's very interesting, the paint job on this one. I really like it though, it kind of looks cool. But I really don't know what they're trying to do with this car, what, what they're saying this is per se. Maybe, I don't know, it's got like eyes. I, I I don't know what this paint job is, if I'm being completely honest. It's really interesting though, I'll give it that. It's pretty cool. Here's the bottom of the car, La Fasta. And uh, yeah, that is car number four for this set, or rather car number seven. I'm getting, you know, the numbers backwards here, but that's okay. So yeah, like I said, it looks like a Spider-Man themed car, not gonna lie. But anyway, here's the turntable for La Fasta. number six I actually forgot the order about I got through like three cars and then I forgot the order that these are in here so this is kind of a surprise to me all right that is Hot Wheels Pursuit here's the sticker here Hot Wheels Pursuit Pursuit not Prosuit I don't know what accent I just tried to do there here's the paint job so we've got a yellow body 
black chassis, black tires with green rims and a green window insert. This kind of gives off Jurassic Park vibes. Like I feel like this is almost like a futuristic Jurassic Park rescue vehicle we got here. Pretty neat. Uh, taking a look at the side panel, we've got 24 uh, Sergeant Petey Island Rescue with the island there in the background. You can see the palm trees, the mountain, and the sun. Some red stripes here, Hot Wheels logo there. Red stripes. This side over here is exactly the same but mirrored. And then there's really no detail anywhere else on the car. So you got the front end here with all the detail there just in the casting and then the back end has the rocket booster i'm not sure why this car has a rocket booster but i do think it's really interesting a turbine rather that's really weird anyway hot wheels pursuit there that is our fifth car in total for this video pretty interesting one to include in this set not gonna lie but anyway here is the was the halfway mark we are now on to car number five which is i could cheat and look at the sticker fangster interesting so this is a crocodile themed car i'm pretty sure it's supposed to be crocodile themed here's the sticker pretty cool uh let's take a look at it this is fangster we've got a black body a silver chassis green tires with black rims and no window insert here so all the detail here is on the forehead and the three sets of uh, claws here. Just got this really cool scaly like camouflage design. I'm pretty sure all of these are supposed to have Hot Wheels logos on them. Oh, it does right there. Right there, there's a Hot Wheels logo. I'm pretty sure all these cars have Hot Wheels logos hidden somewhere in the paint scheme, which I've found it all on every single one. Oh, right there on the back of the spider. I wondered because I didn't see one on the spider, but there it is. But yeah, that is Fangster. Really not a whole lot of paint on this one. They really tried to keep it simple, I guess. They didn't even get paint on this side, which is okay, I guess, because the tail wraps around to this side. It would have been cool to get some sort of paint job there. But yeah, that is Fangster. Car number four. I Okay, now I know where we are. I should be able to, yeah, I know what all these are. The ever famous Bone Shaker. What would a Hot Wheels series be without Bone Shaker? The mascot of the company, practically. So, who, oh my God, this is such a cool Bone Shaker too. So we got a black body, a black chassis, green tires with white rims and no window insert. So as you can see, this is the hard top bone shaker and it's got almost like a Medusa paint job to it or like a Aztec uh, God sort of going on here. It might be the God of wind, maybe. I don't know many Aztec gods off the top of my head. I know there's like a uh, Shalot, uh, oh God, I'm gonna butcher this. The one that has an X at the beginning of his name, Shalotl, I'm pretty sure. And then there's uh, Quetzalcoatl, which is the dragon, the serpent looking one, maybe. Uh, I don't, like I said, I'm not a master uh, of the Aztec gods. I know a couple of them off the top of my head by name just because we had to read a story on them once in school, but yeah. Anyway, paint job on this one's freaking amazing. Look at the pinstriping there. Got the really cool design on the roof and then the side panel design is amazing. This is an amazing bone shaker, Hot Wheels. I will give you that. Really, really cool. All right, here's the turntable for the bone shaker. Now we're getting into our rare car. Like I teased, next up is car number three. Now, the way that the series works is that numbers uh, four through 10, all of those cars are common. They're very easy to find. However, cars two and three 
are considered rare and then car number one is considered like an ultra rare kind of thing really hard to find like i said i got the full set so you'll get to see them all but that's how it works so this is our first rare car car number three here we go there is the sticker and we've got a custom volkswagen beetle for our first rare car here is the sticker I like that. It kind of gives off a surf theme, which I really like. And speaking of surfing, take a look at this. This is the Volkswagen Beetle. We've got a baby blue body, a uh, chrome chassis, black tires with bronze rims, and clear window, or like a smoked window insert, rather. This is cool. I love this. So we've got wood paneling down the side, a Volkswagen logo, Hot Wheels with a wave and a shark at that little porthole right there. This side's exactly the same, but mirrored. On the hood, we've got wood paneling, and it says something on here. Uh, surf Camp. Hot Wheels Surf Camp is what that logo says there. I love that. Nothing on the back side there, but yeah, that is pretty much that entire car. I love this paint job for this, the custom Volkswagen Beetle. This is a cool paint job for this car. I love it. So there you go. That is our first rare car of the video. Let's get to the second one. second rare car if you've been paying attention to the front of the packaging it is probably the biggest appearing car on the front of the package it is our custom 1969 chevy pickup truck right there so here is the sticker which looks really cool love the look of the sticker there that's really neat and then here is the chevy pickup truck so We've got an orange body, a chrome chassis, black tires with chrome rims, and uh, what is going on with the window insert? Hold on a second. I don't know if you guys can see that. My window insert fell inside the car. That is weird. I wonder if I could fix that. Hold on. I attempted to fix it, but I don't think it's fixable. I think it's stuck like that. My windshield and all of that fell inside the car. That is really interesting. So ignoring that, we got a blue window insert if it was in the right spot, which it isn't. So I got an error vehicle. That's really cool in the mystery models. So Hot Wheels Island Tour with a tiki face. And then we've got this really cool paint scheme here with the palm fronds. Over here, it's the same thing, but mirrored. And then on the hood, we've got that same old like tiki setup. So a really cool little pickup truck, not gonna lie. I really like this casting for the pickup truck. There is the bottom for everybody who cares. A really cool little Chevy pickup truck, and I can't believe that it's an error. I shouldn't have opened this. If I would have known, I wouldn't have opened it, but, you know, that's life, I guess. Anyway, there you go. Let's get on to the final car, which is our Ultra Rare. I wouldn't necessarily say it's an ultra rare. It's more like a super rare. It's the it's the mystery. It is quite literally the mystery model. See, we had the Volkswagen and the Chevy truck on here, both rare. This is the mystery one. This one is the super rare. Also, if you noticed, our rare vehicles for this series are all real cars. The rest of the cars are all fantasy. These ones, however, are real life cars. So I guess this one is kind of our super chase, I guess, for the mystery model series here. It is the 1974 Brazilian Dodge Charger. And I don't know what classifies it as a Brazilian Dodge Charger, but as you can see here, it's got the golden nameplate and it's got a trophy here in gold. Whereas the other rare ones that we looked at had a silver trophy and a silver nameplate. So this is a this is an ultra this is a chase piece, like quite literally a chase piece. And it's really not that, it's really nothing tropical about it. It's just a green Dodge Charger. It's got this really cool stripe on the side with gold and uh, yellow details, Dodge, Hot Wheels, the reflectors up there. It really isn't that special of a rare car. It's pretty okay, I guess. 
got like a lime green body, chrome chassis, black tires with chrome rims. Here's the bottom if you wanted to see that. And then we got the smoked window insert. Like I said, it really, I'm going to be completely honest with you guys. This really isn't that special of a chase piece. However, I still think it's really cool that we got this in the series. And that is a good car to end it off with our super chase piece. Let's get to the turntable and take a look at all 10 together as well. There you go everybody that is the complete set for series two of the hot wheels 2023 mystery models and i really like this little end display that i cooked up in about a couple seconds but i think it looks cool having the common cars on the bottom your two rares and then your ultra rare way up top i think that looks neat that little display i made but uh, yeah let me know what you guys think in the comments down below if i should do more videos like these mystery models because like excuse me I did it with the I did it with the Monster Jam minis and that was cool and all but like I don't know I I don't the Monster Jam minis I feel like are different I could do like you know set it up like this where I do the the comments then I do the two rares then I do the super rare and then the ultra rare I could do it that way but I don't because I don't feel like it merits the same value with Hot Wheels like, I'm gonna be honest, you go to a Walmart, there's a chance you'll find all of the, oh, you'll, there's a chance you'll find the entire set of mystery models that quickly, like it's nothing. I've done it many times. Hot Wheels, on the other hand, this is the first series of mystery models for Hot Wheels that I've ever completed, and currently it's the only series that I've ever completed. I haven't found the rest of them. In fact, Series 3 2023 just hit my Walmart recently, and I have all the commons, but I'm missing the three rares. Uh, series 2, 2022, I'm missing the Ultra Rare for that series. If I find the Ultra Rare, I will do a video on that series for sure because it's it's cool. That is, it's like, so you know how this one's like jungle themed? Series 2, 2022 was uh, shipwreck themed. It was really freaking cool. And I really, and the Ultra Rare is a GMC Cyclone. And I secretly love, like, I, um, it's not really secret. I have a sweet spot for GMC Cyclones. I think they're kind of cool. So I really want to find that car because I want to unbox it and look at it, but, or rather unbag it. These come in bags, but yeah. So there you go, everybody. That's the full set. And, you know, in case you missed it, we do get stickers. You get one sticker with every car. Each sticker matches the car. And then of course your Dodge Charger, your ultra rare comes with the ultra rare sticker. And then your two super rares come with the super rare sticker. The rest of them just come with normal stickers or rather rare, ultra uh, rare and super rare. But anyway, that is it. I hope you all enjoyed and I will see you all in the next die cast unboxing video here on the channel. And I know I kind of want to tease what we're going to do next, but I feel like I shouldn't because like I said, the entire, or like I said, in my surf and earth video, this the entire month of December is going to be stuff that we've never done on the channel before. So I, I don't want to tease it because I feel like it'll be a big surprise. And when, But uh, that'll be my teaser. The next Diecast unboxing video is going to be definitely going to fit December as a theme. So we'll put it that way. Anyway, thank you all for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Peace out.